Now, there's a book, America, the True Old World. Did you know that America is Atlantis? Did you know that Atlanta was named after Atlantis? Let me read something for you, because knowledge is power. And right now we're learning, as the Lord said in the last days, there's many what? Roads to knowledge. And right now, I'm going to give you a little knowledge. Let's read. Atlantis discovered Atlantis was in the Americas. Atlantis was America was Americas because the place named like the Atlantic, Atlantis, Ocean, Atlanta, Georgia, and at Atsland State Park in Wisconsin, Sons of Wakanda. Look it up. Google it. Google Wakanda in America. Also, Atlantis was in Mexico, according to the book, India once ruled the Americas by Gene Matlock. Mexico has a lot of place names that contain Talan, T-L-A-N, but why are the initial A and the final T missing in the popular Mexican place name? Okay, let me tell you why. Hard evidence suggests that Sanskrit, Sanskrit is the father of the most world-class languages. If we use Sanskrit to explain the true meaning of Atlantis, we'll learn that the initial A means not or no longer. The final T is de derives from the Sanskrit desa, D-E-S-A, or D-E-S, des, or T-E-S, meaning nation. Atlantis equals no longer. The Talon or the Tolan nation. When the A Talon, T-I-S, sank under the ocean, named after it, it certainly ceased to exist. However, the westernmost extreme of Atlantis, which is Mexico. Look, folks, this is the map. Look, when you look, this is an ancient map and it's showing you that this was actually called Atlantis. Let me keep reading. It's still above the water. So it says Atlantis, which is Mexico, is still above the water. It continues to be Tolan or Talon. Now that we have established the meaning of the initial A and the final T is in Atlantis, we must search for the meaning of Talon or Tolan in Sanskrit. Talon equals surface, a place on the surface. The N refers to the people living, it says for the people living on this surface. A means no longer. Talon on the surface, T-E-S or D-E-S means nation. Lan, Talan, T-L-A-N, or Tolan, T-O-L-L-A-N, which is Mexico, is part of the re, is the part that remained above the water, even in the Nahat or Talan or Tolan, which equals surface. A place in the Greek Tala means to bear support or to hold up. There is still another Sanskrit meaning: God Shiva, Talan, people of God, Shiva. Now, the Sanskrit Atlanta, not to bear, not to hold up, bottomless, underneath, underworld, hell, Atlantan, can mean any or all of the following. People of hell, people of the underworld, Patla, P-A-T-A-L-A, and Atala, were both Sanskrit names for America, end quote. A well-known, we all know, um, known about Atlantis in the Eye of the Sahara of Africa, but fruit, but few of us knew about Atlantis that was in the Americas. The Atlantis that was in the Americas is the oldest because of the what? The Mayan connection. Atlantis was, of course, the mother civilization of Egypt. So Atlantis was the mother civilization of Egypt. And that's why when you go up here and you go into Tennessee and Georgia and Florida and all these, you'll find all these miles, Utah, Utah, the land of Judah. When you go through Tennessee, you'll see some of the largest pyramids on earth. And now they're digging up all these um, ancient cities in what you call right here in Florida, which is Miami. And it's ancient. It says older than the Phoenicians. Now, this is the map called Atlantis Insula, when they add the other name, Peninsula. So let me keep reading. Atlantis was, of course, the mother civilization of Egypt. So I hope the information settles the debate about who civilized who and is the oldest 
throne in the Americas. Because folks, we got to understand that when you deal with the Americas, it's not the map that you see today right here. America encompassed, I mean, all of these areas. It was called Turtle Island. It was called Atlantis, Tamaru. It was also called the Third Ethiopia. So it had many names. But when earthquakes came, a lot of the land masses fell into the waters, such as the one that we know about in Japan, Okinawa, and all these other places. And what happened is when, when these land masses fell, understand all over the world, some of the city of Atlantis fell into the water. But this is the ancient city of Atlantis, the ancient lands right here. And so, you know, you got United States here, you got South America, you got all of these land masses right here. And right, what they've done is they come in and rename these areas. Now, figure 12, this is a 1661 um, Sanson map that was created by renowned French cartographer, um, termed by some creator of French geography, Nicholas Sanson. This map shows the Americas as the Atlantis Anisola before they call it Peninsula. So it's called the Atlantis Peninsula. This is one of the, oh, this is from 1661, folks. So there's been a lot of hijacking going on and a lot of people don't understand this. I'm gonna read a little bit more here. It said Atlantis was in Mexico, according to Dr. Clay Winter's book, Atlantis in Mexico. Atlantis was an ancient spiral-shaped harbor with high banks or dikes lining the channels. Atlantis once existed near San Lorenzo, Techolachalan, that word's a little confused there, Tenochtitlan, exactly as described by Plato. You can see this in figure 13. Let's see here where we have figure 13 is, this is figure 12. Okay, don't see figure 13, but we'll keep going. I said, Robles Guret said that it, the extremely fertile plains and jungle and in the area of the cross, that cross with the ruins of many ancient irrigation channels as well as man-made irrigation lagoons, some with the masonry linings, uh, masonry lining their banks still intact and still potentially un unstable. And archaeological remains in the San Lorenzo are supposed to belong to an Olmec culture. You get this? So these oldest civilizations <clears throat> and the oldest heads that are found in New Mexico, which they said are the Olmec, so this is all tied together to the so-called Negroes, indigenous people who ran all of these areas. And at one time they were dominant and they became the Moors, what you know, the Moors, they even became the Vikings. And a long time ago, they were even, when you go into like Russia and in those areas, they were called what you would call the um, Spartans. And, 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 and they were for fierce or the Trojans and also called the Trojans. So we have a culture that was hijacked. Let me keep reading. The archaeological remains of San Lorenzo supposed to belong to the Olmec culture. The Olmec themselves were survivors of the Atlantic's disaster. So the Olmecs were survivors of the Atlantic's disaster. So they did not come from Africa. Get this? They did not come from Africa, folks. They were already here in the Americas. I firmly believe this because there have been no Olmec heads found in Africa. So no of the Olmecs did come from, from Africa. I believe the Olmecs became the, what we call today the Maya, or either they are the same people. And we know that Maya means he who brought us over the water. Now, I say this because Mayan long count calendar is an Olmec calendar. So the Mayan calendar is the same as the Olmec calendar, folks. So you tying all this together, the Mayans are just as old as the Olmecs. I believe the Olmecs became the Mayan Indians. And who's the offspring of them? The so-called indigenous Negroes. Let's keep reading. Also, both the Olmec and the Mayas allegedly vanished as the civilizations. So we do not have a connection here. Additionally, Atlantis was in the Americas, according to the 1661 Sanson map of Atlantis a, uh, Peninsula, in figure, figure 12 here. So this is the ancient map. And this map here actually showed Atlantis. America... And if you see South America, all these other lands around, even Canada was part of it. All of these lands, New Mexico, all these islands. Folks, you got to wake up. Get your book, America, the True Old World, and you'll see that you've been bamboozled, ran amok. And boy, you definitely been led astray. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs>